sitting here reflecting and thinking about a lot of things as far as when you have never had um, history of stability um, as far as growing up as a kid you've seen family members do this family members do that um, relationships friendships, jobs, and you've seen people in your household as you were a kid, teenager, adult growing up in life out of years, years and years and years, you know, stability plays a part of seeing that as you grow up plays a part of how you live your life today. Some people struggle because of what they were accustomed to when they were younger, growing up. And they carried that into their adult life because they had no guidance. Some people bounce from that because they want better for themselves. And if you had the strength, courage to say, I don't want to be like them. I want better for myself. I don't want to repeat that generational curse because it's a mental illness. So we have to do better. We have to surround ourselves around people that are going to encourage us to do right. Not only surround ourselves by people that are going to make us feel good inside by telling us something that we want to hear. There's a difference between telling us what to do that is right versus telling us something in our ear that we want to hear. There's a difference. Now, if you have those friends and family members that are putting things in your ear because it makes you feel better about yourself, yes, we want that. But at the same time, we don't want you to be putting something in our ears just because it sounds good. Just because it sounds good doesn't make it right. It has to be something that is going to motivate us to push us to do right. Not just to do right for ourselves, but do right for those that are also affected by the decisions and choices that we make in life. We have children. We have grandchildren. Okay? We have to set a great example for our future, our family. Because our family comes before any outsiders. So, we have to seek strength encourage to step out of that generational curse that has cursed many of us black Americans today. As you see, our younger females have children and a lot of them do not have family structure. They have babies. They either pregnant in the relationship with the father or giving birth to the children or the child and is no longer in a relationship with the father. They are young, black, single parent because they have no structure, they have no guidance to be on the right path. Structure and guidance consists of 
not just someone talking to you, but if they're talking to you and they're leading you in the right path to better yourself, to better your family, then they're not meant for, they're not meant for, to be in place for you. They're, they are there for their own, whatever reasons. It could be selfish gains. Who, who knows? Okay? So, it's a deep down issue because it is something that continues on in people's lives. And we as black Americans, mothers and fathers have to break that generational curse so it won't spill into our own children.